Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. I want to get Mr. Beast. I want Logan Paul. Speaking of which, I must say, we almost had Mr. Beast on. We were very unfortunate not to. We were in Australia for a large part of when he was in the UK. So I did message him and be like, hey, do you want to do it like the day after the charity match? He was like, no, nah, sorry, man. I got filming. That's sad. So I had to hold that L. Well, it, season three will be a great guess. Yo, hear me out. How about just hear me out, okay? And not in that way. Yeah. Just listen <laughs> yeah. to this I Hearing you I out. I think this will be really fucking funny, okay? Let's get your sister on the season three pod. No. Bro, the stories would be funny. No, no, would, no. I'll I, get my mum on. Nah, your sister would be better. Nah, nah, nah. My sister's got like I, a job and like, she, bro, she, bro, she <laughs> can't be associated with the fellas, man. I'll keep it simple This is a shit. quick way to have nah, your career we'll, we'll muddled. We'll talk like business and stuff like, you know, tell me the yield percentage of this What'd what she that. do for a living? She don't do that. Whatever she the makes fuck he's fucking bread. That's what she does. That's my girl. <laughs> Baddest fucking bitch nah, around. I met your sister and her boyfriend at the charity match. Yeah, yes. sound. Very nice. Yeah, yeah good oh, people. Oh, oh, this is a howler. Here we go. Tell the story, Jeff. No, no, no. So... This uh, shout out to Connor. This one, uh, Carl's sister's boyfriend. It, yeah. um, he told me the story. Oh well, I'll, okay. Then you got to tell the story about the time you met. Okay, my I'm sister. trying to. I'm trying to make sure I remember this right now. <laughs> this joke properly. <laughs> All right, go on. Give it. Give it a swap. Little intermission. Okay, it was. I can't remember it. I was going to try it. Brain just buffering right I can't now. Remember it because I was so hammered at the time that he told me. But he said Max Verstappen's dad was a taxi driver in Belfast. Right. Okay. And then. Well, that's cap. Uh, no, seriously. And then. No, no, <laughs> his, say name, the his, name, his name. What's his name, bro? <laughs> you know it. You know it as well. <laughs> oh no. You know uh, his name. <laughs> his name. What was his name? His, the back of stuff is dad. What was? Thank, it? Thanks for stopping. Do just want to give you guys the heads up that our amazing orange and black 165th floor tees are out now. You guys can go ahead and get them. There's a few left. Most have already gone. So make sure you head on over to the site, check them out. And uh, yeah, enjoy guys. That's not that. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. That can't yeah, that be the punchline. Yeah. His name's Thanks for Stopping. Yeah, Thanks for Stopping. Oh, for Stopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks, for thanks for Stopping. That's it. I was just like, you, you have told that joke so, so badly. Bad. He said it's so good, but I yeah. forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, because he's Irish. He can. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can it's, deliver it's, it well. It's, it's, it's the accent <laughs> yeah. as well. No. That, that is so good. But anyway, Cal's sister, I saw her at the charity match. And she came up to me. She said hello. And I looked at her and I went, <laughs> I looked at her and I went, hello. And walked away. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. My sister got up to him like, hey, chick. How are you? Like that. And he goes, hello. And then oh, just like walks dead. away. Chip, Chip nah, was so rude. I was so under stress like at that no, moment. No, 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 no. You weren't under stress. Trust you were literally me, at a free fucking bar no. watching the charity I was night. like walking and she was walking at the same time. And I got shots because she came up to me like she knew me, which she did, obviously. And I was like, oh, I know her, but I fucking don't know who it is. And I, my mind just kind of went blank in that moment. And I kind of like stressed out and I went, hi. And I kind of just Walked carried off. on walking. And then I was like thinking to myself, I was like, fuck, fuck, I fucked it. Who is that? I know who that is. Then I saw her again later on. I was looking at her across the bar and I'm like, who the fuck are you, woman? And then I go, oh, she looks fucking like Cal. It's Cal's sister. Oh, such a look. My sister came over to me as soon as the game was done and went, you know, Chip just like completely blanked me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there like, no way. You guys have met enough times. I know. That, and I went up to her. I was like, I'm so sorry. So I, you, I knew. She was literally you. sat next to us at the game as well. Yeah. Re no. Yeah, yeah. No, bro, no, no. But this happened before, I think, before the game. Was it before the game or after when, the game? But when did you look across the bar uh, and see bro, it? it was half time. I think it <sighs> happened. <laughs> she but was anyway, sat with like, you for anyway, 45 it's calm. Minutes. I bought her a couple of drinks at the after party. Oh, it was good. Oh, but at the free bar. All right, cool. No, like you want another <laughs> case of mistaken identity? I've played the charity match. I've come back up. Yanni comes over. Great game, Cal. Congratulations on the win. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. He goes, great game. Congratulations on the win. I said, cheers, mate. Really appreciate that. He's, he goes, you're some player, you know. And I'm there thinking, mate, like, I didn't play, like, I've had a bit of a... Uh, you wouldn't say that after my I performance. Like, I played. I played so mediocre. I suppose like, like a five point three rating or something. Nah, I think it was five point four. Like, yeah, but yeah. I was part of the defense that leaked seven goals. What can you do, right? <laughs> Anyways, he goes, uh, and I go, thanks. And he goes, yeah, you're some player, you know. 
And I'm thinking, all right, cool, man. Like, thank you. Like, at this point now, I know you're just lying, right? But I was like, thank you. He goes, yeah, man. Like, what did you get in the end? Like, three goals? Oh, I think you're so I, and, I've, and I've gone, <laughs> oh, no. And you know, at this point, at this point, right? So tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, Let me know what you would do in this case. I just went along with it. Yeah, I would have gone along I with it. I went along with it. And I, and I went, I went oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I just tried to like cut off the combo. He goes, yeah, that one you scored where you chipped the keeper. Unbelievable. Like I said, man, you're some player. Seriously. Like you're trying to get like, not emotional, but he's like trying to give me a genuine compliment. And I go, oh, thank you. Now I can see his two kids that are sat at the table with him. They're both putting their head in their head. They've realized that their dad has mistaken oh, me for Simon. Yanni Mimitar. knows you though. Yeah, he he's does. Worked with mate, you. Mate, mate. Me and Yanni, we've done so much. We did the KSI car, all this stuff. Right? It was clearly just a moment. Right. Anyway, happens. And I said, I appreciate it, Yanni. I'm just going to go find my family now. Right. So I've gone, I've got to find my family. 45 minute passes. Yanni comes sprinting over. He goes, Oh my God, I'm so sorry, bro. I completely <laughs> fucked it. And I was like, bro, don't worry. I thought it was so funny. But fair play, like, he did come yeah, up to me afterwards. Yeah. Like, I completely fucked it. But it was so funny because him, he, Simon's the one guy that I always get like yeah. mistaken for. And so I'm just there like, bro, I can't even catch a break in the friends and family area. That's crazy, man. But yeah, anyway, shout out Yanni. Like, lovely blow. Hey, we all make mistakes. This shit's just fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah. So yeah, Thanks, Chip. Guys. Why weren't you playing? Because I stink. Oh, I've had a epiphany, a moment. And I was I actually did want to talk about this. I want to play in the next charity match, yeah. but I don't want to just play. I want to earn my place in the game if I yeah. can. So I want to so play. So what does that mean? I, the reason why is I, I don't want, I didn't want to play in this one, even though I didn't get invited anyway, but I wouldn't have, <laughs> even if they did somehow come to me last yeah. minute, be like, yo, we've got a space. I would have said no, because I get too nervous yeah. and I don't really enjoy the moment. And I'm really bad at football and it all gets to me. But I don't want to grow up and be like, I missed out on all them opportunities to potentially play just because I was nervous. In an epic event. Yeah, in something really cool. And then I'm also watching the game. I'm like, so many players here that I am actually probably better than. Yeah. I'm not good. You definitely are. Yeah, like yeah. they don't even play football. Most people yeah. don't play football, a lot of Americans, stuff like that. So I was like, fuck, I should just try and play next time. But I want to earn my place. And, and those guys as well, I remember speaking to uh, Jimmy afterwards, because we're first name now, so <laughs> um, me and Jim. Uh, no, but after he was there, like, I absolutely loved it. And yeah. it, that's, that's rare for someone, one American and two, like, doesn't play any football to come over there. And you, you like, you know, he's, he's not, he's not a baller by any means, but he just went out there and he had the sickest time. And I mm. could tell when he was on the pitch, he, I, I think he was enjoying himself a yeah. lot. And afterwards he said that like that tournament inspired, or not tournament, that uh, match inspired him and he wants to go and do something of his own over yeah. in the US. And I thought, See, that's sounds fucking crazy sick. But me. you know what's so interesting about, about Mr. Beast is the fact that like it, it, his brain never switches off about this sort of stuff. Yeah, he's like, always that, on it. We're, we're very much like involved, but that, the way he comes away from that and his mind isn't, wow, that was a sick experience. I'd love to do it again. You know, he's probably there. He's probably thinking that, but he's also thinking, how can I do like my own one in the US? Mm. How, can, how can I do something Mr. Beast? And I was there like, that's fucking like this guy. He also also has the like the connections to make that shit happen, right? Yeah. So you, if you and me walked away going, I'm going to do my own one. It wouldn't. It's not quite the same, is no, it? No, I'd be like Sunday League, 100 people <laughs> turning up. 100 people rock up, you know, and, and, we've, and we've got no big names. But 